all right so i'm gonna start off by telling you guys this is actually not clickbait this is a way to make your lawnmower run a lot better so what i found and yes you will have to draw drill one small hole if you want to do it the way i'm doing it but what i found is that the lawnmower itself tends to get bogged down whenever the the, the lawn gets caught underneath the mower itself well if you just hang the flap open on the back like this it'll actually throw it right out the back but you want to have it timed perfectly to where it also deflects it and and shoots the grass back down to the ground or else it'll just throw it all at your legs and that's not going to be fun either but essentially what you've seen me do is i took a metal clothes hanger and i run it through the hole and then i hook it on to the bar that's in the middle of it and that holds it at a perfect angle that keeps it from shooting grass on me, but also keeps the grass from building up inside of it. This is just kind of how far I kept it away. Um, I find that it throws the grass perfectly at the ground this way. And yes, I will be using 9 amp hour batteries today. I can already hear the question being asked. How does this make the lawnmower more powerful? Well, every time I've cut the grass, this thing would stall out probably every uh, at least six times just cutting the backyard it would stop and what I was finding is that the underneath of the lawnmower whenever it would cut because I, I tend to let the grass get a little taller before I cut it uh, just because of time restraints it would it would glump up underneath it slow the blade down and then it would make the make it shut off well then yes if you do put the bag on the back which I I like the bag but it, it's just too much dumping for me I, I have to dump it a, a lot to get my yard done so it takes a lot of time so I found this this way was easier well at first I just propped it open well then I seen that I just got showered with grass and I was like eh, let me think of something here and I realized oh yeah there's a flap perfectly on the back that I can just angle down and that's all it was and ever since then you guys will see you'll see this lawnmower stall out one time and that's because I don't know if y'all can realize from the video but I have like a billion moles in this yard so I have mole holes that are everywhere and and and, and they tend to lift up the yard so every now and then I would hit like a you know like a stream where the moles are at and it would hit the dirt and it, it would bog it down just a little bit. I only had it stall out once though and that's a thousand times improvement from what I had before. Now to answer the question about the 9 amp hour batteries. Yes I had the other version of this lawnmower that the biggest ones you could fit in it was 4 amp hour batteries. I liked that lawnmower. I, I mentioned it in the, in the video that I did. I liked it. It was a good lawnmower but this one's better. I feel as if if you have a smaller lawn than what I have and don't have moles that make your yard look like D-Day, I, I, I think that it would work a lot better for you. But for me, I need a little bit more power. Well, with these nine amp hour batteries, this thing is wicked powerful. I, I mean, it, it's twice the lawnmower of the other one as far as how much power it has. So that's also contributing a lot to you know how how long it's lasting and and the actual power of it and why it's not bogging down something else that you might have to deal with that I also have to deal with is gumballs my neighbor right here on the left has gumball trees and I've tried to get them to get rid of them multiple times they love their gumball trees well me I hate them because they end up in my yard too and that thing I mean you'll hear it smacking them up underneath it but I've never had a have any amount of gumballs make this thing to where it stops so if that's an issue that you're that you're worried about I wouldn't be too concerned and here we are, Normandy, 1944. You guys can see these tunnels dug in. I'm about to hit one right now. Boof. Yep, I just destroyed the whole German line. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they're huge tunnels dug in this yard. It, it's crazy. I've tried everything. For, I've tried the gopher gassers, and I've tried the, the traps you put in the ground, and I haven't had any luck. If you guys know anything that, that might work, Please let me know in the comments. I'd love to be able to plant some better grass in this yard and actually make my yard a lot nicer. But it just, I, I don't see a point in putting all that time into it whenever I got gophers the size of, you know, cars underneath the ground. So, yeah, if you guys got any ideas, please help me out. And as much fun as I have cutting the lawn, I think I like using the 18 volt leaf blower even more. 
Um, I'll, I'll show you a video on the one that I have. Uh, but I use it for blowing the grass off the sidewalks and stuff like that. I, I have the corded one. I use that one for the leaves and stuff whenever they come down. Or I sometimes use the cordless one, but it's just not quite powerful enough to get a lot of the leaves. So that's when I have to break out the heavy, the heavy artillery. All these military jokes in this video. I know, I know. All right, so just kind of give everybody an idea on how much I did cut. Uh, this is the front yard that I just cut. Um, I cut all of this. All this side strip right here, just this side strip. All of this. You can see all, all that, all the way down the side, and then there's a little bit in the back. I was able to cut all of that, the backyard, and this front yard right over here on two 9 amp hour batteries. And, and I'll show you here in just a minute, they still have bars left on them. So, just to kind of give you an idea on how much that, that actually is able to cut. And here's the 9 amp hour battery. They both have the button pressed. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Here, let's do that one more time. Two bars left. So that's pretty dang good. That means you could get away with doing all of that with like a six amp hour. And just to show you guys, Home Depot's website actually says that this new version can, can fit six amp hour batteries with the lid all the way closed. They don't say anything about the nines, but it actually does. The lid closes all the way and there's still a little bit of room left over. So yeah, I mean, it closes completely. And you guys can you can all see that these are 9 amp hour batteries. Uh, yeah, I mean they fit in there perfectly. Hey guys, thanks for coming to watching my video today and supporting this channel. Uh, today's video shout out is going to be for Tinks Fawn 08. Thanks for supporting me, dude, and keep commenting. I love to hear it.